Unlike atomic or A-bombs where the explosion comes from the splitting or fission of a heavy atomic nucleus, hydrogen or H-bombs work on the principle of nuclear fusion, where two hydrogen isotopes combine. The explosion of an H-bomb has two stages. The energy released comes from a series of fission chain reactions, creating hot enough temperatures to initiate fusion. All this takes a fraction of a second. The H-bomb, also known as a thermonuclear bomb, generates temperatures similar to those found at the Sun's core and is considerably more powerful than the atomic bombs dropped by the US on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. The force of an A-bomb is measured in kilotons equivalent to thousands of tons of TNT, while the H-bomb is measured in megatons equivalent to millions of tons of TNT. No H-bomb has been used in a conflict so far. In 1952, America became the first country to test one in the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean. This was followed a year later by the Soviet Union, which also carried out the largest blast to date in 1960 when a device known as Saar Bomber was detonated in the Arctic region. This was followed by the UK, China and France. 